Hi, Silverstone friends. I'm here with my friend and food shop mm -hmm. manager, Claudia Avila. I'm going to show you and Claudia how to make my favorite quick and easy dessert for a dinner party. So, my favorite dessert as a child was angel food cake, and my mother had this very special way of making it, and I'm going to teach you how to make it. It's okay. the simplest thing in the world. So you start out with an angel food cake that you buy from the grocery store. Can't be much simpler than that, and I'm going to cut it into some nice wedges. So I'm just going to go around here, and then we're going to put it right on the tray, Claudia. Okay. Now while I'm cutting this, what I want you to do is I've got this bowl full of softened butter. This is about two sticks of butter. Okay. And I want you to stir it up. Okay. And then we've got about three or four tablespoons of honey. So again, oh, very, very simple. Okay. And you're just gonna mix that up. And if you like it sweeter, you can add more honey, but that's about three or four tablespoons. Okay. And we're gonna preheat the oven to about 400 degrees. And then we're gonna spoon the sauce over there. So, I know Claudia loves desserts. It's her favorite thing in the whole world. Yes, What was your favorite dessert as a child? Uh, flan. Flan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you're from Mexico, of course it was yeah. flan. <laughs> Did yeah. your mama used to make flan for yes. you? Oh, yes, ma'am. Nothing better than homemade flan. Okay. All right, okay. now, this is easy. I'm gonna do one. You just take this and see this is nice and mixed together. Mm -hmm. You don't want the butter melted because then it won't go on. You want it to be creamy like this. So we're gonna take it and we just slather it all over there. Oh. Can't be too much. So we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna put it in the oven and bake it until it gets nice and crispy and golden brown. And then we'll be back in a minute. We'll show you what it looks like and we'll taste it and see how good it is. While we're waiting, I'm gonna show Claudia another one of my very favorite simple desserts to serve at home. We're gonna do fresh berries with Romanoff sauce. Okay. And actually, this would be really yummy to serve with that cake we're getting ready to make. Yeah. Or we're, we've made, but we're waiting for it to come out. So for this one, I'm gonna take just sour cream. Okay. This is regular sour cream. And this is about a cup, a cup and a half. This is the kind of recipe where you really don't need to measure. And then I'm gonna go in with a few good sized tablespoons of brown sugar. Now, while I'm stirring this up, I'd like you to put some of these berries in the glass. So we've got blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. We're just gonna layer them in the glass so they're nice and pretty. Okay. So Claudia's gonna do that while I'm stirring up this. So all you want to do with this Romanoff sauce is you want to just keep stirring it until all the brown sugar dissolves. So the acid in the sour cream is going to break that sugar down. You don't want it to be granular, but you're just going to break it down and you can see it's going to turn this nice real pale golden color. And when you quit seeing the little specks of the brown sugar, you know it's ready. And it's amazing. This sauce is amazing. Sometimes I put a splash of Grand Marnier in it, which is really good, but today we're just gonna do it the original Romanoff sauce style. And this was, again, one of our desserts when I was a little girl. So see, you've got a nice, smooth texture there. And so Claudia's about got these ready, so then you're gonna take this glass, and we're just gonna put a nice, big dollop of the sauce right in there. Look at that, isn't that yummy? All right, and let's put those other two over here, Claudia. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You think this looks good enough to eat? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's try it out. All right. Okay. You take one. Here's a spoon for you. Okay. Here's a spoon for me, and let's see what it tastes like. Let's get a little of that sauce and those berries. Mm. Mm. Good, isn't it? Very good, ma'am. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, when we finish eating these, then I'll go get the cake out of the oven and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, let's see what this yummy toasted angel food cake looks like when it comes out of the oven. Remember, it's 10 minutes, 400 or 450 degrees. Goodness, look how beautiful that turned out. Look, it's nice and golden brown, nice and toasty. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take it right off of this pan Sometimes it sticks a little bit, and that's just fine. 
Just use a spatula to get it up. You're not going to believe, Claudia, how wonderful this is. It is just so yummy. And then what I like to do, some people eat it just like this, but what I like to do is take a few berries. Now, what we really could do is just dump those other glasses on it that we just made. We could do that. But I'm going to put a few blueberries and a few raspberries here. And then I've just got that whipped cream that we whipped up earlier. A big dollop of that. Look how yummy that looks. Mm. And then we're going to take a bite. Okay. I'm That's sorry okay. you have to take a bite. I know oh, it's tough, but it's, it's for the tough, it's for work. Okay, you have to, you have to do it. Uh, I have to taste it. You have to taste it. Okay. Okay. Little berry, little whipped cream, little cake. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Just like it was when I was a little girl. Mm. Perfect. Two super easy desserts that you can make anytime at home for a dinner party for friends, for your family. Enjoy. Enjoy.